Insight here, giving you insight into ghosts don't exist. It's been a while since I made a video. Rasuke, he wanted me to do a video, said, hey, it's been a while. You know, life goes on. I don't live on YouTube or anything like that. So here we go. Uh, we were catching up and he was telling me about his uh, Halloween experience. And I went, aha, I have the topic. I have the topic. Ghosts don't exist, so he's excited to hear what kind of things I have to say about that. Here we go. First and foremost, uh, outside of movies, do ghosts really exist? I mean, they perpetuate it, people believe in it. I mean, here's a chart right here that shows, like, Americans, uh, and I'm talking about here in America, and I will expand beyond that later on, but... Right there, you see, like, 45%, you know, ghost, 45% demons, supernatural things, larger than that, and, you know, vampires, you really gotta get your game up, 13%, that's just not acceptable for, <laughs> for that class, so that's, that's really funny, so... We've all heard of stories and tales and experiences, you know, of people telling, I went to this place and it was haunted, or I saw something in the window, or I felt something touch me, and all these other things, and we've heard of haunted places and legends and things like that. For example, the Salem Witch Trials, which were a real event. And uh, there's a movie called The Crucible, you should check it out, it's got Daniel Day-Lewis, and... Men and women were accused of witchcraft. Where are the ghosts, you're saying, insight? Well, after they were either burned or drowned, or in this picture, you see right here, hung the vengeful ghost. And there's many movies dealing with the vengeful ghost and things like that. So we have a lot of movies and we have a lot of TV shows and even animations that kind of go with that uh, that idea. So, after all of that, we have the real ghost hunters, the ghost finders. And to answer all of this, I found this great clip by this comedian who has passed away. His name's Paul Mooney. He used to write for Richard Pryor. And so, listen to this and we will digest what he has to say. And you white people that are here, and why I have you here, I want you to stop this ghost stuff. TV, you're obsessed with it. The ghost channel, celebrity ghosts. The ghosts touch me. I slept with the ghosts. The ghosts kiss me. Real ghost stories. Ghosts, ghosts, international ghosts. Ghosts that don't speak English. Ghosts. White folks, there are no ghosts. There are no ghosts. It's all in your mind. Get off the meth and the crack. There are no ghosts. There are no ghosts, white folks, and I can prove it. If there were ghosts, slaves would come back and fuck you up. You do know that. Oh, only the white ghosts get to come back. You black ghosts, sit down. You don't get to go. Huh. That was something. At first, before he got to that end part, I was like, what in the bloody blue blazes is he talking about? But then when he got to the end, it made sense. And believe it or not, I've actually thought about that younger, when I was in my younger years, but never really heard it put into that kind of um, simple terms. And you have to really think about it. If you're in some place like the United States, or, yeah, the United States. Let's start with there first. Slaves who were, like you see here, hung and tortured and burned. You think, for sure, like 400 years of slavery, you don't think that there wouldn't be vengeful ghosts trying to kill white people, trying to kill anyone because of what happened? I think so. I think so. They're not in the movies, obviously, because... They're not the ones making the movies. But if you're talking about real places that haunted, you know, only the white ghost? Really? <laughs> now, you're, now you're being racist against ghosts? Like there's some kind of hierarchy? 
What about one even better? Let's go a little deeper. Native Americans, Indians, who were all over this country. I'm just going to just, this is lowballing it. I'm just going to throw out a number so you can give some context. Let's say 200 million Indians from Florida to Nova Scotia to the tip there of where Seattle is, all the way down to San Diego and Texas, El Paso, El Paso, Texas, right? Like all over, like the Midwest up there in North Dakota, like Indians everywhere. Even in Canada, there's even Mexican Indians or, you know, Native Americans. They were nearly brought to extinction. You mean to tell me that there aren't thousands <laughs> or millions of goats that would want to hunt, to possess, and to terrorize the, the invaders who did things to, I mean, look at this picture right here. This is pretty graphic, but think about this mother. You, you mean to tell me that only the white ghost in these areas and locations get to come back? For some reason, it's the, sa the same people who are looking at the ghosts happen to be the same ethnicity. I find that strange, as well as some place like Australia. If you look at Australia, same thing, the Aborigines, they're there. Uh, colonizers came over and decimated them, and now they're on the fringes of their own continent and uh, subservient and things like that. I mean, of course, moving on and kind of done with other ethnicities there, but if you're... Now, we can branch this out. If you're a other ethnicity and you're in another ethnicity's uh let's say continent and you have permanent residence there as someone else don't you think you would get ghosts of the former indigenous people who were there their ancestors but no you're only going to get ghosts who look like you and things like that now if you're in japan for example uh and if you're in Deutschland or in Belfast or in Dublin and things like that, if you're in Essex, something like that, and you've grown up, maybe all your ghosts are ethnically the same because that's all you see that's around you. But then when you hear something like this, it makes you want to pause and think about it. Hmm. Why is that? Right? When the British went over to... India as colonizers or the Congo in Africa and things like that. So you really makes you think. So next time someone tells you that they believe in ghosts and they really do believe in ghosts, send them this video and you will see them dance around and try to fit their narrative into that. Usually going by the rules of what we've seen by tales and by movies is that ghosts hang around because they're vengeful, they want revenge, or they're looking for some kind of closure, or, you know, it could be love, death, burial, you know, all of these things. And if they're not met, they will be there to torment, to destroy, to harass, to haunt, to decimate those who they feel have wronged them. Obviously, all you have to do is bring up these topics and you've won. The case is closed. Ghosts don't exist, except in stories, movies, video games, and animation. Thanks for listening.